Let's talk about Azure AI Foundry. This is Microsoft's platform for building, deploying, and managing AI applications at enterprise scale. In this series, we're going to explore how to build AI-powered solutions using Azure AI Foundry, from foundational concepts to hands-on demos. In this video, we'll start with the concepts of hubs and projects. An Azure AI Hub manages the resources that AI solutions in your organization rely on. This includes resources like Azure OpenAI Instances, Azure AI Services, Azure Key Vault for managing API keys and other sensitive data, Azure Storage Accounts to store data like documents used to train models, Azure AI Search which is often used for its vector search capabilities in Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG, applications. And you can also connect other Azure resources to the hub as needed. The hub admin can create users and assign roles to control access to those resources. Resources managed by the hub are accessible to the Azure AI projects inside that hub. An Azure AI project is where you group resources to support the development of an AI application. A hub can, and often will, contain multiple projects. So for example, you might have a hub for all your customer service AI solutions and separate projects inside of it for warranty, tech support, and sales. Inside a project, users can access a number of tools to build AI solutions, including the Model Catalog, where you can discover and deploy thousands of LLMs, including OpenAI models, open source models like Llama and Mistral, and many from the Hugging Face catalog. Playgrounds, where you can test prompts in a ChatGPT style interface. And PromptFlow, which lets you define step-by-step -step workflows for how prompts interact with models, tools, and data. Let's look at a demo. The Azure AI Foundry portal is located at ai.azure.com. After logging in, you'll land on a page showing any projects you've recently worked on. But I'm going to start from scratch and create a new project, so I'll click the Create Project button. Foundry suggests a project name and selects a hub. Since I already have a hub, it defaults to that one. But I'll create a new one by clicking Create New Hub. I'll give the hub a name, prefixing it with my initials to ensure it's unique. Foundry checks that the name is unique, and then I'll select Next. I'll also rename the project again using my initials to ensure it's unique. Next, I can customize the resources that will be created with this hub by clicking the Customize button. I'll select a subscription and create a new resource group, and I'll leave the location as East US. Foundry also wants to connect to an Azure AI Services or Azure OpenAI resource. I could choose an existing one or let it create a new one. I'll let it create a new one using the suggested name. I could also connect an Azure AI search resource if I wanted to use RAG in this project, but I'll skip that for now and click Next again. Here's a summary of what's about to happen. Foundry will create the Hub Project Resource Group and Azure AI Services resources. Looks good, so I'll click Create to kick things off. Provisioning these resources usually takes a minute or two, so I'll speed things up through the magic of video, but first, here's what's being created behind the scenes the hub, the project, the Azure AI Services resource, a storage account, and a key vault. All of that is handled for you automatically, which is one of the big advantages of using Foundry. Once provisioning is finished, you'll land on the overview page for the project. Let's deploy a model. On the left, click Model Catalog, and this is where you can browse, compare, and deploy models. Let's search for GPT-40 Mini. Click on the model, and now I can review details like licensing and benchmark scores on the model card, but instead I'll just click Deploy. In the Deployment dialog, I could customize things like the deployment name, model version, or rate limits, but I like the defaults, so I'll just click Deploy again. In just a few seconds, the model is deployed, and I can now see the endpoint URL, the API key, and sample code for using the deployment in various languages. Now I'll click Open in Playground to test the model in a chat interface. In the chat playground, I can choose my GPT-40 mini deployment. I can also set a system message to guide the tone of the conversation and adjust parameters like temperature and top P. Or I can just start chatting. So let's prompt it with 
compare the specs of the RTX 4090 and RTX 5090. You'll notice that the model starts off with a disclaimer. As of October 2023, the RTX 5090 hadn't been released, but it still gives a comparison based on what information it has. And that's enough for this video. As you can see, Azure AI Foundry makes it easy to manage resources, deploy models, and start building right away. And this is just the beginning. There's much more on the left-hand side of the portal that we haven't touched yet. In the next video, we'll dive deeper into more of Foundry's tools. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it.